welcome back to the channel. On this video, I'm going to be riding the bike right there, the Lyric Graffiti. And I'm going to talk about that right there. So let's hop on the bike and talk a little bit about stop signs. So I've discussed this topic in past uh, video once or twice and I'm going to talk about it again here today. Stopping at stop signs. So I don't know how many people know this but if they don't I'm going to tell you right now that in the state of Oregon and some other states out there maybe where you are the law about stopping at a stop sign for e-bikes is the same for e-bikes as it is for traditional bikes. At least in our state here of Oregon, you treat stop signs here for bikes, uh, bicycles, including e-bikes, as a yield sign. So you're permitted to slow down. If nobody's coming, you can proceed. You don't want to whip through a stop sign at 20 or 30 miles an hour but if you're going five or six miles per hour you can certainly see who's coming to your left and right it's not like a car the bike you can see a lot more than you can on a in a car you don't have any blind spots or anything now i gotta say that sometimes you'll get into a situation where you're coming up to a stop and they there's a large fence, maybe somebody's got a fence at the corner or a hedges or a tree could be in the way. There, there could be obstacles in the way um, and certain roads, you're not obviously you're not going to just go right on through. But the streets where I'm on right now, there's not a lot of traffic. This is a residential area and so in this case here. I'm going to slow down. I'm going to show you right now. Nobody's coming and I'm going to make my turn. See, I slowed down to the point where I could see if anybody was coming and if they were coming, I would certainly have enough time and I was going slow enough that it wouldn't take anything to come to a complete stop if I had to. But uh, if you notice my videos, especially the last while here, I stop at every stop sign. The only time I don't stop at a stop sign is if I'm with other folks riding in a group or whatever and somebody is ahead and they can see that nobody's coming and they just kind of give you the heads up, they say clear or whatever and we can all proceed through the stop because nobody's coming. They obviously uh, can see and this guy decided to pull out in front of me. Ah, who cares, he says. It's only an e-bike. So, in the state of Oregon, as I say, uh, stop signs are treated as yield signs. And so you slow down, and if nobody's coming, you can proceed. Um, like I say, though, you wouldn't want to be going 20 or 30 miles an hour and just blow right through the stop sign. Uh, that's too dangerous. But Now, I don't know how many states have this law. So, I'm not saying all states can do it, so check your uh, laws in your area, but I just know that in the state of Oregon here, that that is the law. And maybe you can make a comment in the comments below if, if your state where you live, if you know the law there, can you go through a stop sign and treat it as a yield sign as well as here in Oregon. If you can, let us know in the comments and maybe share that with everyone so that other people know where they are, whether they can go through or not. I just want to make sure these fire trucks aren't coming here. They're not. And there was another sign there. It's 
So, like I say, I, I most, for the most part now, I pretty much stop at every, whoa. I stop at every stop sign because I had so many people complaining and saying, you're not stopping at the stop sign. So now out of habit, I just do it. Even though, like I say, in the state of Oregon, we don't have to come to a complete stop. Um, unless somebody's coming, obviously. Um, but yeah. I'll say one thing, you certainly gotta watch out for other folks when you're riding the bike because people pull out left, right, and center on you. And I hate to say this, but more times than not, they'll blame the bike rider as opposed to the car uh, driver. It's always our fault, never the car. So yeah, like I say, if you know what the laws are in your state, maybe share that with us and we'll see how many other states have the same uh, law. Um, where they can uh, treat the stop sign as a yield sign. Like I said uh, before, uh, it depends on which road I'm on, or did I say that before? Maybe I didn't, but yeah, I did mention about the residential area here where there's not a lot of traffic and, and the speed limit is low. But uh, if you get out onto a busier road, you're obviously not gonna even use the you're not even going to use the stop as a yield. I think you're going to come to a complete stop. At least I would. Um, it depends where I'm at. But uh, here, I think you're okay. But out on some of the other roads where there's more traffic, I stop anyway to make sure I have a look to see who's coming because the speed, a lot of times the speed limit will be quicker than in here. It's generally 20 to 25 miles per hour in this residential area but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I just wanted to bring that up because I do get periodically uh, it becomes a big deal you know a lot of people have a lot to say about uh, people blowing uh, through the stop sign not stopping not coming to a complete stop well, I gotta say, I see a lot of times cars don't come to a stop. They they do the old rolling stop. Normally, as I said earlier, I normally now stop out of habit at every stop sign, but for the purposes of this video, I wanted to uh, show you of uh, more of a yield situation. Now we're coming up to a stop sign right here. I'm gonna do it one more time here. Then I can certainly see nobody's coming, and away we go. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video, talking about stop signs and uh, treating the stop sign in Oregon here, at least, as a yield sign. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel and support us, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you for doing that. And if you'd like to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll get notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. 
Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road.